हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवेंथ मैथ्स स्टैटिस्टिक्स चैप्टर एंड दैट टॉपिक इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन वॉट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन कोफिशियंट ऑफ वेरिएशन रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सी वी इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इट इज इक्वल टू द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन divided by the mean value of the data into 100 right you have a data you first have to calculate the value of the standard deviation and then mean and you put the values of standard deviation and mean in this formula and you will get the coefficient of variation of that data what is the use of coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is basically used to compare the variance the dispersion of data in two different series right for example there are two different series coefficient of variation of first series is sigma by mean sigma of first series sigma means what is the symbol of standard deviation in statistics symbol of standard deviation in statistics is sigma so and mean is represented by x bar so coefficient of variation of first series is sigma 1 by x bar 1 in 200 and coefficient of variation of the second series is sigma 2 divided by x bar 2 into 100 i'll write this formula in symbol form also so that you don't get confused so it is sigma by x bar into 100 because standard deviation is represented by sigma again i'm telling you and mean is represented by x bar so this is the coefficient of variation of first series of data and this is the coefficient of variation of second series now if suppose if suppose cv1 is greater than cv2 now the coefficient of variation of first series is more than the coefficient of variation of second series when we are saying series we mean the series of values which are present in a data right so coefficient of variation of first series is suppose more than the coefficient of variation of the second series this means that the values in the first series are more variable right they are more scattered they are more dispersed and the values in the second series are less variable or less dispersed dispersed right okay okay let's let's take an example from ncert it is given that two plants a and b of a factory show following results about the number of workers and the wages paid to them okay there are two plants in a factory a and b a has 5000 workers b has 6000 workers the average monthly salary in plant a is rupees 2500 and in plant b it is again rupees 2500 the variance of distribution is 81 in this case and in b it is 100 okay what is variance you all must be knowing if you have read this chapter that variance is variance of a data is the square of the standard deviation so standard deviation is simply standard deviation is simply the root of variance standard deviation is simply the root of variance okay since the value of mean in both the cases is same now look at the formula if if mean is same in both the cases then we are left for for the comparison of c1 v cv1 and cv2 we are left with sigma1 and sigma2 only so if the mean is same in both the cases we will just compare the values of standard deviations to know which data is more scattered or more variable right because when x1 is equal to x x1 bar is equal to x2 bar then if sigma1 is greater than sigma2 then cv1 is greater than cv2 and if sigma2 is greater than sigma1 then cv2 is greater than cv1 so in this case since the mean is same we will just find first let us find 
let us find the value of standard deviation for first data which is under root 81 because variance is 81 and root 81 is 9 and sigma 2 sigma 2 is under root 100 because variance of this data is 100 since since sigma 1 is more than sigma 2 therefore cv1 is more than sigma 1 is not more than sigma 1 is less than sigma 2 right sigma 1 sigma 1 is less than sigma 2 then cv1 is less than cv2 right which means that the data values in this case are less scattered than the data values in this case right there is no point of putting the value of mean in the formula because mean is same as as we discussed before let's take one more example coefficient of variation of two distributions are 60 and 70 so cv1 cv1 is 60 and cv2 is 70 and their standard deviations are 21 and 16 standard deviations are 21 and 16 standard deviations are 21 and 16 what are their arithmetic means okay cv1 is simply i am writing formula again and again so that it gets embedded in your brains so cv1 is what cv1 is 60 what is sigma 1 it is 21 and we have to find the value of the mean in this case so so mean is 21 divided by 60 into 100 now if you cancel all these 0 say 0 now this is 2 no 3 this is 5 and this is 7 so 7 into 5 is 35 so mean in this case is 35 okay let's take the second data cv2 cv2 is what 70 and sigma 2 is 16 now put the formula cv2 equal to sigma 2 divided by mean in this case into 100 so x2 bar is simply 16 by 70 into 100 and this will give you 22.8 which is the mean in this case right so this was the meaning the formula and examples based on coefficient of variation i'll meet you in the next lecture till then all the very best